Hey guys, it's February 3rd, 2010, and this is my first vlog about my first article. If you guys are wondering what exactly this is that you're watching, it's actually a project for a class I'm in. I'm a college student working on a dual degree in broadcast journalism and architectural studies. And for my news writing class, we have to either create a blog or a vlog telling the behind the scenes of what goes into the articles that we're writing. This first article I'm writing is going to be about the museums art galleries as well as archives on campus that students might not know about that are actually in the buildings that, you know, they visit every day. Um, I thought it'd be interesting um, to expose these locations on campus so that other students can visit them and also because it's something that I've been actually wanting to do myself. So I figured I'd write an article about it so other people would know as well. Basically, I've been researching on the internet, finding locations that are um, around Kent and it's actually not as easy as I thought it would. Most of the websites are leading me to the same main museum on campus which is not what I want because students already know about that one. Um, but some of the areas I have found and that I've really decided are going to be ones that I'm going to get interest in are the Hearing Aid Museum, the, pardon if I butcher the name, the Mbaji Art Gallery which is Pan-African Art the student galleries, and the Kent Sports Archives. I've emailed several people from each of those areas, um, directors, professors, anyone in the general vicinity who might be able to tip me off about the articles that are in the displays or about the displays in general, how they got there, and what students can look for in them. Other than that, I have emailed the head architect of the campus in order to see if he could tip me off to some other locations that I haven't discovered online. Um, and I actually received an email back from him today, um, basically providing me contact information for the art for the areas that I had already told him so about. So the other day, I did end up visiting the archives on campus, which, if you guys don't know, the archives are located on the twelfth floor of the library. Um, it's a long way up in an elevator by yourself, let me just say that. Um, and you get up there and it's a tiny little aisle and right now they have a sports display going on. Which is quite interesting, the pictures of all the athletes in their old fashioned outfits. Um, and there's a couple artifacts there like the football that was used for the first touch touchdown. Um, which I guess is interesting. Another thing that I found fascinating up there, there's three panel doors with carvings of Shakespearean novels on them. And they're actually from the 1700s and were donated to campus. And they're just up there sitting on one wall where not very many people see them. So if for some reason you're in the library and you have an extra minute, maybe you could go check those out. The rest of the archives are also stored up there. Although that's more by appointment, it's better if you're going to go there if you want to look at something specific. Although they do have a bit of a general display going on. Right now they're working on something for May 4th since it's going to be the 40th anniversary of the shooting. Other than that, I have a couple emails that I need to get to and set up some interviews. Um, I should be getting three or four, possibly five different interviews taking place in the next couple of days in the beginning of next week. Hopefully I'll be able to record those um, so it can be put on Black Squirrel Radio. I figure that if I'm writing this paper for class, I might as well be recording my interviews and turning them in for the student media where other students can actually hear about them besides the individuals in my class. So that's about where I'm at right now. If you guys have any suggestions or anything, feel free to comment in the section below. The link of the day is dailynightly.msnbc.msn.com which is The Daily Nightly. It's Brian Williams' blog. If you don't know who Brian Williams is, shame on you. He's the anchor for NBC Nightly News. Um, he's my absolute favorite anchor, so we're going to start the vlog off right by directing you over his way. He writes about the episodes that are coming up on the news and what he's working on for the day, um, as well as some of his editors and directors put up videos from what he's working on, possibly other people saying behind the scenes information. So I'm going to direct you over there. The link will be in the sidebar um, and right here. Have a good night. Bye-bye.